Hey scholars, so today I'm going to be showing you how to navigate your CSU Dominguez Hills portal. It's very important that we check this portal at least once a week because there's a lot of information being transmitted to us, um, especially in that to-do list section. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to navigate that portal so you can make sure that you're answering all of the questions that, they're, that the university needs from you. So the first thing you're going to need is your username and your password. If you have never logged in before, you can find these in your email. You should have received this email a few weeks after you submitted your application. So you want to go ahead and go back in your search uh, for your inbox, type in Dominguez Hills. It should be one of the first emails that they've sent you. If you can't find that, don't worry. As you can see here, you can put this, you can find it in the forgot username or forgot password. So the first thing you're going to do is log into my.csudh.edu or you can just Google CSUDH portal and it should be one of the first links. Once you're at this website, you're going to go ahead and fill in your username and your password, which again can be found in one of the first emails that Dominguez Hill sent you way back when. I've already logged in. So this is what it's going to look like once you have successfully logged in with your personal information. The first thing that you want to look at once you log in is my to-do list over here in the right-hand corner. These documents are being required in order to complete your actual application process. As you can see here, one of the first things that is required is your final high school transcript with graduation date. Every senior is going to have this one on their to-do list because the university wants to make sure that you did not get senioritis and that you actually completed all of your coursework, all your A through Gs with I want to say C or higher, but them just they want to make sure you've done the best that you can. So this one actually cannot be submitted until after you have graduated. So once you have completed the school year and you decide that you want to go to Dominguez Hills, you need to talk to your counselor or whoever is in charge of that at your high school and let them know that you need your transcript to be sent to this university. Now for the rest of these, this could look different for everybody's portal. For the students in particular, um, the student's going to require that to submit a 2018 IRS tax transcript and a 2021 dependent verification form. They're very common things to be asked, but if yours does not require this, then it's fine. If it requires this, or sometimes it might require more, it's different for every student, which is why everyone needs to make sure that they're checking the portal at least once a week. Um, and if you need help, of course, you can always reach out to your college advisor. And we're more than happy to help y'all. Um, so what? First thing you want to do is click on the view details. Because miss, what does this mean? I don't want to read it. Well, it's right here. Um, so for the 2021 dependent verification form, this one's like I said, is very common. Pretty much they just want to make sure that you are putting everyone who is living in your house, how much money your parents make, the stuff that you put, already put on your FAFSA, they just want it now on the paper document. So if you click on this, link right here. It'll tell you more information about what it's requiring, how you can send it. It may give you a deadline depending on the university, but this one is just letting you know that you want to submit it as soon as possible, and it's giving you a mailing address. Now, in order to find these documents, such as the 2021 dependent verification form, you're going to find that over here in the financial aid forms. If you click on this link, it's going to give you a long list of different documents that may be asked of you again, depending on your own portal. And you can find them here, they're in PDF form, so you can just click on them, download them, print them out, and then either mail them, perhaps email them, maybe fax them. It'll give you direct um, instructions on how to submit those documents and your to-do list. So we're gonna come back over here. You wanna make sure you get these done as soon as possible. In particular, the ones that say anything about tax transcript or the verification forms, just because these are needed in order to in order for you to receive your financial aid package. Um, so Liz, how do I check if I have a financial aid package? Great question. Okay, so you're gonna find that over here in the view financial aid. I'm gonna click on that. As you can see right now, um, it's empty it's because you have to click on the 2021 link right here. Once you clicked on that, it'll let you know if you have received awards yet. As of right now, it says you have, not, you have no financial aid awards available for viewing this in this aid year. That's because um, the student has actually not completed the 2021 Department Verification Form and submitted some important tax transcript information. So if you have anything on your to-do list uh, about financial aid, you want to make sure 
that you get those submitted as soon as possible because the sooner you submit those, the sooner they can start letting you know how much money they're going to give you um, to attend this university. So that's where you would find your financial aid package. This is where you'll find the forms in order to fill out the uh, to-do list items. And once you have received a financial aid package, you wanna go ahead and accept all of that free money. So you're gonna click on the accept slash decline financial aid, click on this link. As of right now, obviously nothing's gonna be there because we don't have a financial aid package just yet. But if you were, you can imagine that somewhere around here, it'll say um, perhaps a Cal grant, perhaps a Pell grant, again, depending on each student, and then maybe some loans. So you can decide what you wanna accept and what you wanna decline. Of course, everybody should accept all of the grants because they are free money. If you wanna accept loans or not, that's dependent upon you. Speak to your advisor, speak to your parents. Uh, but once you've decided what you wanna do, you can accept and decline those um, offers on this part of your portal. And that's, a, that's the three main things that I think y'all need to know about your portal. Once you decide that you want to actually go ahead and register, you'll be able to find that here, the registration status. Um, and this is where you'll be able to SIR and say, yes, I want to go to this university or no, I do not want to go to this university. So yeah, this is exactly what you need to know about navigating your Domingo Sales portal. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out again to your college advisor. We are here to assist you but that's about it. So make sure you're checking those at least once a week. And if you're having issues, please reach out. Okay, thank you.